I'm Flora Sage, six-time author and founder of the Flora Sage Therapies Institute, and today I'm going to share with you this month's planning tip. <laughs> so, when planning your month ahead, focusing on less will actually allow you to accomplish more. How is this possible? Well, by keeping you more focused on the things that really, really matter to you. So I want you to think about the last time that you created a to-do list. Think about how long it was for you. Now, the longer the list, typically the more likely you are to have things left to do at the end of the day. So when you're creating your action items for this coming month, I would recommend that you do the following. The first thing is get really clear on what your priorities are for the month. I want you to think about the activities that you have coming up. So think about if you have a graduation, um, a baptism, a birth of some sort, uh, doctor's appointments, vacations, trips, surgeries, anything that will take you away from or out of your normal daily or weekly routine or schedule. By keeping these things in mind, this is going to keep your to-dos more manageable and also keep you a little bit more prioritized uh, during the week. So let's just say that you have a, a, a goal to do 60 minutes of um, working out or active meditation every single day, but you know that twice a week you have wall-to-wall, back-to-back meetings, and by the end of the day, you are exhausted. Now think about it, are you really gonna wanna come home and do a really active workout for 60 minutes, or would more of like a gentle yoga, or um, a slow bike ride, or even just a leisurely walk around the neighborhood be a little bit more suitable for you? So keeping in mind your daily schedule, your weekly and your monthly priorities and, and happenings, will help you to really prioritize what your month should really look like. So that's step one, is to get really clear about what your priorities are for each and every month. Now step two is to only write down one goal per week. Now, um, a lot of people are just like, wait a minute, <laughs> how am I supposed to get anything accomplished or anything done if I only have four steps or four goals every single month. How is that possible? Well, when you focus on less, you actually get more done. So I'll give you a real quick example. So let's just say that you want to try to lose weight. So for week one, your goal could be to work out three times a week for 15 minutes each, trying a new exercise each time. Then week two, maybe your goal is to cut out all processed carbohydrates after noon. Maybe on week three, you will maybe try to go to bed earlier so that you won't stress eat during the day because you're tired. And maybe on week four, you're gonna cut out sugar or sweetener from uh, your coffee in the morning. So each week, you're focusing on just one action that's going to make an impact on the bottom line and getting you one step closer to your goal, and in this example, to lose weight. So, Plus, each week you're gonna be adding something new to your plate, no pun intended. <laughs> so week one, you're gonna be trying out new workouts. Week two, you're gonna to continue to try out new workouts and stick to the ones that you really resonate with, but now you're gonna be cutting out bread and complex carbohydrates from your day. Week three, again, you're also gonna be working out, you're gonna be cutting out those processed carbs, and then week three, you're going to be um, going to bed a little bit earlier. So you get the idea. So each week builds on itself. So this method of, of bringing in one new small habit each week, or every two weeks, or every three weeks, will help you integrate it into your daily routine, and you'll start to make a habit of that, and then, you can bring in something else, and then bring in something else, and bring in something else. And these aren't really huge, time-consuming things. These are very small things, very just small baby steps that will bring you one step closer to getting and reaching to your goal and to your priority. Step three is to stay committed. Remember every single day why you set your main goal up in the first place. How did you feel when you wrote that goal down? How did you feel when you set out to write that book or to lose 20 pounds or to repaint your house or to do whatever it is that you've set your mind to do this month as well as this year? 
and remember that feeling. Remember why you started in the first place. And when you think about your month ahead, what does your intuition tell you? Does it tell you that, yes, this is a perfect goal for me? Or is it, mm, maybe you should scale back a little bit, or maybe you should focus on something else that's even more of a priority. To sum up this monthly planning tip for you, step one, get clear on what your priorities are for this month. Step two is to only write one goal down per week to help you stay focused. And three is to stay committed to yourself. Stay committed to why you created the goals that you did in the first place. So remember, less is more this month. Well, I hope you found value in this month's planning tip. If you have, please share this with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or any other social media platform, as well as in email. And if you've really loved it, please subscribe so you won't miss one single episode of our monthly planning tips. I'll see you next month for more monthly planning tips to help you create your best year yet.